Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. I may be reached on 781-380-8888. Gold trading around 1665, down about 10 or 11 dollars in the morning. Uh, we're expecting gold to trade in a range, as we keep saying, between 1600 and 1735 until the big up move occurs. Uh, looking uh, carefully at the CFTC reports uh, on gold last, that came out last Friday, we see the overall uh, futures market remains uh, uh, quite tentative as well. Uh, there has been an increase in open interest with about 51.7 tons added. Um, which is a sign that momentum is going in the proper direction, but we're not encouraging you to jump on the train. Remember, you're already in a very strong, profitable position. You've been buying gold since you've been working with us. Um, secondly, net speculative length has uh, also uh, increased, um, which is a sign, again, of tentativeness in the market. Uh, lastly, ETFs were actually sellers of gold, uh, again, reinforcing the idea that the market is pretty well satisfied with the way things are, moving in a relatively narrow range, expecting that over the next year or two, there will be certainly certain to be, there are certain to be bankruptcies among European nations. Now, uh, lastly, there's a very fine analysis uh, uh, done uh, by uh, John Williams from Shadow Stats. We got this from Eric McQuinney. Now, <clears throat> if we calculated inflation the same way inflation was calculated in 1990, our inflation rate in the United States would be 6.3%. If we calculated inflation the same way that it was calculated in 1980 and prior to 1980, the true inflation would, excuse me, the inflation rate would be 11%. So uh, this is, in our opinion, very significant indicator of how the method of computation of inflation has trended more and more in the government's direction in terms of analysis as opposed to what people are actually uh, finding in terms of their, their real lives. So two thoughts for today. Uh, continue to stay steady in the gold market without further accumulation, being ready for the big up move. Uh, and secondly, uh, consider how inflation is really running through the economy, and that's going to be great for gold and commodities and rare earths and uranium. So this is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows, not the open water. Have a super day.